actually feel bad. Oh, so I have only you. just met you. <laughs> <laughs> So we did it. We're here. We came to Wales. I told you we would. Yes. <laughs> and why here? We're up a sand dune. We are up a sand dune. So this is Merthyr Mawr sand dunes. I am totally, like, absolutely in love with this place already. Just getting out and seeing the countryside. I actually earlier felt like I might have seen a unicorn. Did yeah. I see a unicorn? You probably did. <laughs> you probably did see a unicorn. I find it fascinating that you do love Wales so much. Not only are you an amazing advocate for it, but you live here yeah. and you could live anywhere. Yeah. You know, financially, I don't know if you could emotionally, but what, yeah. what keeps you here? I just, I love Wales. I love the culture, I love the people. I love the, the, the natural surroundings. Yeah, and so I just, and it always kept me grounded, gave me some sanity and I could always just come back and it was my little haven mm -hmm. and remain so. When we used to go out in Cardiff, we were not liked. Because <laughs> we would just go out and be like totally um, a mess, having a ball, sweating, dancing. Does it make you cringe when you look back at some of your decisions? No. It was great. <laughs> I had a fun time. Some of it was really stupid. But yeah, you know. Yeah. So no, I don't have any regrets. So I don't, I don't cringe. Yeah. I'm still a hot mess quite often. <laughs> and that's fine. I'm sort of getting on board with the, with women's relationship with wine. <laughs> yeah. You know, because we, we often sort of go, oh, you know, I drank too much wine, and it's always like this really bad thing about, mm. you know, and oh, I'm drinking rosé or whatever, and these, you know. <laughs> but women's relationship with wine is like a really sacred thing. And so Prosecco, I think you definitely helped the sales yeah. of that. <laughs> totally. Where the, yeah, they, the there's, a, there's a shortage now, isn't there? <laughs> it's a nationwide shortage of Prosecco. <laughs> Let's talk about period. <laughs> menstruation. <laughs> We've got to take that whole, ugh, it's gross, mm. out, out of menstruation. Like, having a period is a wondrous thing. Mm. I know it hurts and it's a pain, but more than half of the world's population guess, are doing it. It happens, period. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should have, like, a national day. <laughs> a national period day. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you do it. What made you so moved to do the march after the election? I think um, since I since I was little, um, I've always really keenly felt uh, injustice, and it's weird for that to be a matter of the heart. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of is. But yeah, I suppose it's um, well, it's it's just a human plight, really, and I hate to see people suffering, and I and I. And I've got empathy and I've got love. It means that you have a big heart. That's why yeah. it's a matter of a heart. You have a really big yeah. heart. There were so many people who were important in my life. All of my family, my Bampi, which means his granddad. Oh my God, he is unbelievable. One of the, the biggest influences on me in my life. He talks like that. You're like Jenny. <laughs> he's just mad, but he's so wise. He's a real wise old owl and He's a bit like Yoda. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, he's the best. I've never wanted to get married. Everybody's always like, oh, when do you want to get married? It's so weird. I'm just like, I just don't fancy it. I just don't like the idea of committing myself to another person for the rest of my life. I think if I was ever to get married, it would be in 40 years time. Mm -hmm. Once there's something to celebrate, once you've weathered all of that with somebody, and then can you imagine you know, getting all of your friends and all of those people who have weathered that with you? And then it's a real celebration, and I think that would be far more special. How do we mend broken hearts? Advice for anyone? Oh, there's no, there's no sage advice for that. Because if you're someone that feels a lot, and I feel like you're someone that does, yeah. like, what happens when your heart is heavy? There's a Bjork album called Volnicura, which is the best heartbreak album that has ever existed. Unbelievable. That Friends and Wine. Really? Yeah, That oh, Friends and Wine. She brought on the rain! Hey. It's happening! Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for like letting us come to Wales. All right, I, I mean, any, anyone can come, yeah, but like we wouldn't yeah. have, we wouldn't have. You, you got us here, <laughs> and right up here we dragged the hearts. We Thank did. you so we much, Charlotte. Heart. You're a hero. What a hero! Yes, we love us. And now I just want to go and drink wine.